What's up my friends, this is Einstein aka Open Source Code Gangster with another tutorial on how to use instruments in protest the likes of the multimeter, the visual terminal, the oscilloscope and further other. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you where the instruments are located. So you go to your left side on protest and you see where my mouse is hovering. You click here, you get your oscilloscope, your logic analyzer, your counter your visual terminal, SPI debugger and all these, the DC voltmeter, the AC meters and the watt meter. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of the few instruments. So for me to demonstrate I need to make a few circuits. So I'm going to create a circuit using an AC circuit and a DC circuit using a lamp. I'm just going to be using the same lamp for AC and DC. So I'm going to be generating different voltages for the AC. As you can see, my lamp here is at 12 volts. So I'm going to edit my power supply to generate 12 volts. For the DC, so if this is my mistake, this is for the AC. The bottom one was for the DC. Because this is the V sign, as you can see from the symbol. This is a sine wave. So here I'm going to be using 220 volts. As you know, AC voltages is 220 or 230, 220. So I'm going to edit to check if I'm getting 50 hertz. I'm getting 50 hertz at 230. But according to the basic laws of electricity, this is a peak to peak voltage, but we're going, we need to get VRMS voltage. So I'm going to be putting around 340 us because if i get the root mean square of the voltage i'm going to be getting around 220 so this is my basic circuits i'm going to test them as you can see the lights are turning on so now i'm going to test my instruments i'm going to connect the dc voltmeter on the dc circuit in parallel with the load and i'm going to connect the AC voltmeter as well in parallel with my AC load so as you simulate we can check the voltages the DC and AC as you can see you're getting 240 AC voltage and you're getting 12 volts DC voltage as you remember before when I talked about this piece I said I put 340 volts so that you can get around 240 VRMS so what we put here was the peak to peak voltage the peak to peak is a sine wave we're going to be having the peak to peak voltage that's what i put here so now we're going to demonstrate the ammeter for the ac ammeter you just place it in line just go and it, it changes color to a little bit of reddish and you drop it you already know your component has been uh, assimilated in the circuit for the same we put an ac a dc ammeter as well we put it in series with the circuit as you see it has changed to a reddish color you drop it and now we simulate the AC currents. As you can see, this lamp is using only 0 0.5 amps in DC at 12 volts, and this lamp is using 10 amps AC at 240 volts. So that's all for the AC uh, and DC ammeter and voltmeter. So now we are going to simulate the oscilloscope. I'm going to pause my simulation, take the oscilloscope, press it onto the grid. Let me move my circuits a little bit. To my left so i create space for the oscilloscope so now i'm going to connect my ac circuit to channel a and my dc circuit to channel b i want you to see the difference so as you can see the yellow signal is my channel a as you can see from the oscilloscope this is the ac signal so i'm going to switch off channel c and channel d so channel b is the one connected the dc signal as you can see the DC is very straight in nature so I'm going to zero so from here to here this is where our voltage is that's where we're getting our 12 volts from here to here it has increased because we're saying 2 millivolts per, per division as you say 2 millivolts you add them you get to 12 volts and for the AC I can change the, the number of I'm going to get as you can see and i'm going to bring it a little bit down so that we share the origin with the with the other uh, let me use the zero as you can see so this is the zero 
and this is our AC line and this is our DC line. As you can see we are getting our 240 AC and the oscilloscope is measuring this showing this graph. So next I'm going to be showing you how to use the signal generator with the oscilloscope. So the signal generator is just generates a signal. If you want an AF a, AM signal, amplitude modulated signal, or if you want an FM signal, you can generate using signal. So I'm just connect, going to connect channel C. It are going to generate the signal. So channel A was the AC signal. Channel B is the DC signal. So I'm going to turn turn on channel C. As you can see. It's, it's showing that there is something so I'm just going to change the as you can see the amplitude as you can see we are generating a sine wave from this you can see this is a sine wave I can change to a triangle wave and I can reduce the oscillations I think let me check let me see if I can change the ranges I've increased the frequency so that you can see that signal is being generated I'll make it smaller in the range you can change so you can change any of the settings here you can make it bipolar and unipolar you can also generate a triangle wave you can also generate a square wave as you can see so that's how you can integrate the signal generator with the oscilloscope so the signal generator can be used whenever you're making an FM or an AM circuit or any RF system that needs you to generate a signal and you demonstrate you can use a signal generator generate and test if the signal is getting into the system so now I'm going to 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 add on another component I'm going to test the logic analyzer so I'm going to delete the signal generator and the oscilloscope I'm going to add the logic analyzer. So for the logic analyzer, I'm going to use the toggle that we discussed in the previous tutorial. I'm just going to add one toggle here. I'm trying to add another one here. Like this. So now we these circuits are done, we can remove them as well. So let's wait. I'm running the simulation. So this is the logic analyzer. It detects when a logic triggers from high to low or from low to high. So I'm going to start my logic analyzer. You click on, on capture. It changes color to the reddish color. It means it has started its capturing. You wait until the color changes from this color to a non-color. Let me check the settings here. Then try to generate a signal, yes. Then we capture. I want to see why this thing is not capturing. I want to reset it. I don't know why it's not capturing. Let's restart the simulation. I'll try and run the capture. It's not capturing. Why? It's saying it is captured. So once you see the color turn from this color to the green that was being displayed before it shows that it is, it is done capturing so I don't know why I'm not getting any signals here because I was supposed to see the signals that have been captured by my logic analyzer oh sorry I moved my cursor here we go so now we try and run a capture and I try and simulate this change. Let's 
let's see so I'll try and run my signal like this as you can see this is the signal that I generated right here right here when I toggle channel a0 a0 from 1 a which is high to low let's see how many times it captured the signal it captured it here again let's try and change the oh yeah I put a span oh so you see two times when I generated the signal when I was capturing let's try again let's try to recapture so fast so fast oh I put minimum time of capturing let me see if I can add more time on capturing needs more time let's see so now I'm going to try and capture more time let's see if I can add more time to the capturing so now it's done as you can see it is simulating that I generated my signal are on off on off so this is how you use the logic analyzer so I think basically guys we've covered the oscilloscope the logic analyzer the AC and DC voltmeter the pattern generator uh, this we're going to cover later when we're going to get into coding the i2c debugger spi debugger in the virtual terminal these are going to cover later when you get into programming with the microcontroller and the Arduino. and the watt meter if you want to generate any power for any signal if you are doing an, an, an rf signal and you want to generate signal in the kva milliwatts watts then you can generate your power using this watt meter you just connect the positive to the, and the negative to the negative then you can generate your signal so thank you once again this is einstein from blistec electronics guys blistec electronics is a startup in zimbabwe we specialize in research and development so please like our page we're thriving to get to 50 subscribers so that we can keep on doing this tutorial so please subscribe and click the notification icon such that whenever we post a new video you get you get notified we're going to be posting more protest videos and more arduino programming videos and more peak programming videos so please subscribe so that we can post more videos for you thank you very much